Hey guys, this is Yobi checking in. Um, yeah, this is an update video and if you can tell by the title of the video, uh, I have a pretty big update. Um, and it's also the reason why that I haven't been posting videos in a while. So um, I'm going to just give you guys a really quick update. I'm basically in one week, I'm moving to uh, Sapporo for a new job. Um, and uh, it all kind of happened really quickly and suddenly. But... Um, Part of the reason why I hadn't been making any videos since about January, um, one f part A is work, you know, just working uh, full time Monday to Friday doesn't really leave a lot of time for uh, you to enjoy your life and make YouTube videos, uh, but it's not an excuse. Uh, secondly, uh, since about December or January, I've been picking up my Japanese studies, um, specifically starting um, in January. That's when I really kind of settled down and started to study a lot more. and. Um, you know, I just took the last couple months to work on myself in terms of self-improvement. There's a lot of personal goals that I had wanted to reach in the per uh, in the past few months. Um, so I just, you know, started aiming for those and working my ass off. And um, part of what evolved from that was this really cool job opportunity came up. And uh, so I decided to take a shot at that. And uh, I ended up getting accepted. And uh, they want me to move, like, pretty quickly. So... Um, it's going to be a really, you know, it's a big shock to a lot of the people that uh, are in my life, you know. Um, that's kind of hard to deal with too, is picking up and moving and saying goodbye. Um, especially when I just really started to set in my roots into Gifu City, you know. Um, you know, part of me, originally, I got offered the job with the JET program and um, the job for the JET program would have been up in, up in Hokkaido. Um, not in Sapporo City like my new job, but um, part of me didn't want to move to, Hok to, to Hokkaido because it was so far away. Um, and I really kind of wanted to come back to the Nagoya central area to, you know, spend a lot of time with my friends and things like that. And, you know, it was great. I definitely got to see mainly all the people that I'd missed and spend time with them and hang out like the old days. Um, but you know, the reality is that we're all adults and we're all busy and, you know, I didn't get, you know, to spend as much time out in Nagoya as I'd like, you know, I went there basically every week or every two weeks, but it wasn't the everyday life in Nagoya that, um, you know, deep down I was kind of wishing for. I knew it wasn't, it wasn't, po it was impossible to go back to the kind of lifestyle. Um, so, but for the first few months since coming to Gifu, I, I kind of neglected, um, I neglected my life in Gifu, you know, I wasn't really, um, to quote Drake's, you know, song, I wasn't really looking to make new friends, I was mainly looking at reconnecting with my old friends, but, uh, you know, in the past four months or five months, I, I definitely started reaching out and making new friends, and uh, it was great, it was fun, I met a lot of awesome people that, um, you know, I still look forward to hanging out with in the future, but, uh, yeah, so, the job... Um, I guess I can give more details now or probably I'll give you guys some more details. If you guys have any questions about the job, um, maybe, uh, I don't, I, I don't feel bad about like, uh, letting you guys know. Basically, I'm, I'm not going to be teaching anymore. I'm going to be working, um, in an office and, uh, half the time is in an office and half the time is at a, at a, um, basically half the time I'll be spending interpreting, um, and helping with sports promotion and the other half um, is working in an office and doing sports promotion um, in Sapporo. So I'll definitely give you guys some more details and some uh, better update videos when I get there next week. Uh, right now, as you can see, I'm just in packing mode. You know, just getting everything packed and ready to leave. So my place is looking kind of uh, empty right now. It's always been kind of empty. I, I'm kind of a simple guy when it comes to living. Um, these are some flowers that the grad, the graduating class gave us uh, teachers when they were leaving. Um, and, you know, that's that's probably the main thing that I'd say is really difficult about leaving right now. I really, I really love the schools and I really love the kids that, you know, we got to work with and teach us here. And it's really sad to be saying goodbye so suddenly. But, um, you know, this is something that I have to do. So, um, but yeah, I think it's really, it's, you know... A lot of a lot of the past few years of my life has been, you know, picking up and moving and going to somewhere new and starting over. Um, you know, when I first moved from, you know, actually it even goes back to high school. You know, I um, 
I don't know some some something like I'm always a, I'm always hungry. I always want to try something new and do something new. And part of that for me is being flexible and going wherever the adventure takes you. So you know it's 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 kind of a weird thing, you know. So like when I was in high school, I I ended up um, changing schools, um, and I went to a different school in my same city. But I had to restart, make a lot of new friends. I had a I had a lot of great experiences and I met a lot of really cool people that I'm still friends with but you know that definitely was a growing experience and then I went back to my old high school for my last year and I graduated and then you know for you know like I I went I went to university and things like that and then I had the opportunity to go do the exchange so that was the biggest thing that happened in my life up to that point so picked up moved to a new city and uh, you know I had to leave say goodbye to everybody um, do the study abroad for a year, which was the, the defining one of the defining experiences in my life. Then having to move back and get readjusted into life in Canada, um, and then I'd always go back for like a month or so of just traveling. So, um, you know, about I've had so many coming and going, like welcome back and going back things. That to this point now, it's kind of not you're desensitized to it, but you're used to it. And uh, even this time, it's 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 tough to leave, but I've, you know I've been through these feelings before. Um, so I'm kind of excited to pick up and start uh, life in Sapporo. Um, you know, Sapporo is one of Japan's major cities. I'll actually be living in the urban area, which is really cool and exciting. I love downtown. I love lights. I love being in a busy city area. Um, but I really look back on this time in Gifu, and I kind of I really appreciate it. I really appreciate um, you know living out in the countryside, having like a simple life. You know, uh, in terms of just going to work, having a, having a good time at work, coming back home, um, you know, studying, exercising, reading. Um, you know, my life's been really busy since coming back from Japan uh, in terms of working multiple jobs and studying and finishing school. So this is like the first time I had time to sit down and kind of think in a long time. So I really appreciated that. And uh, it's part of the reason I was able to buckle down and focus the last few months and um, focus on my Japanese studies, focusing on what do I want to do next and things like that. Um, so if you guys have any questions uh, about the about anything, I guess, it's been a while since I talked to you, um, please shoot me a question down below. That makes uh, this whole YouTube thing a lot more fun for me is chatting with you guys and uh, hearing what questions you guys may have and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, feel free to shoot me some questions down here. Um, I'm, I'm actually, I don't mind the YouTube, uh, comment thing anymore. So, uh, maybe I'm, I'm a little bit of a flip flopper on that. Uh, or you guys can shoot me a question, uh, on my Twitter at you'll be one. Um, I think, yeah, that's still my Twitter name. Anyway, the links will be down in the, uh, description box below. You guys can also follow me on my Facebook page. Feel free to ask me questions there. Um, I'll, I'll post more random things on my Facebook page too, about things in life in Japan and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Basically, that's this update. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, this is Yobi One, so take it easy, guys. Johnny.